Sports Extra is brought to you by Isabella Bank. Hey everyone and welcome to Friday Night Lights. There's only two regular season weeks left for high school football. We have double digit games for you once again. Plus we'll be presenting our WNEM Play of the Night. In addition to that, we'll announce our three finalists for next Friday's Game of the Week. Tons to get to, so let's get after it guys. Friday Night Lights Game of the Week is brought to you by Priority Waste. Glavin and Beaverton battled out in the Jack Pine Conference as students from both schools ran eight miles from Beaverton to Glavin deliver the game ball. First play of the game, Donald Krulu, uh, Korlu, excuse me, third, finds an opening hole down the middle and goes upfield for a 14-yard gain. A few plays later, Colin Fingerger keeps it himself, has an open lane, breaks a tackle here, and he is gone for a 47-yard touchdown to get the Flying G's on the board. Uh, Gladwin's next drive, Preston Willard gets the handoff and puts his head down and earn a tough 18 yards. In the second quarter, Braden Ritchie caps off the drive with an eight-yard touchdown. Gladwin would win it and get the shutout 50 to nothing. Now let's zone in on the Tri-Valley Conference. Standard Sterling hosting Ogama Heights. The Falcons up and would add to it Xavier Carts with a quarterback sneak. He's in for the score. It's 14-0. Panthers looking to rally back, but their pass going to be picked off by guess who? It's Carts again, doing it on both sides of the ball. And look at the return, guys. Great field position for Ogama Heights, and they capitalize off of it. Carts back to pass, going to sling it to Carter Schmidt. That's a touchdown as the Falcons take down the Panthers tonight, 28-0. Now let's zone in on a huge matchup in the Saginaw Valley League. Undefeated Davison traveling to take on a tough 5-2 Grand Blank team inside the Bobcats home stadium. Cardinals looking to improve to 8-0 tonight. Second quarter, Davison up 14-7. Sawyer Glennie fakes the handoff. He loses the football. Grand Blank dives and recovers it, and they would score a touchdown off of that turnover to tie this game. Davison gets it back, though, and here comes Carter Harriman breaking through the defense, going from midfield to the end zone. Cardinals are back out in front. Bobcats would have to punt it away, and Davison has one last drive before halftime. Glennie, quick throw over to Buddy Banks-Williams, who laterals it <laughs> to A.J. Hill down the sideline, going to be brought down inside the three-yard line. Davison with a second to go in the half, punching it in for another touchdown from Harriman. Cardinals remain undefeated, moving into first place in the SVL Red League with the win 35-21. Now in the second half of league crossover battle, Midland High takes on Lapeer. The Chemics look for their fifth win this year, while the Lightning are looking for tally their sixth. Third quarter, Michael Brewer cuts back and finds an alley. There he goes, a 48-yard touchdown to put the Lightning up 24-13. to But here come the Chemics. Noah Gritschek says, anything you can do, I can do better. He has an opening field and scores a 55-yard touchdown to make it 24-21. <laughs> Next possession, Gretschek will get the pitch here, get to the outside, and his focus was on the pylon as nobody of the peer can get him as he comes to your living room for the 20-yard touchdown. Midland wins it 41-24. Freeland looking to bounce back after a tough loss last week. Tonight, the Falcons were hosting John Glenn. Freeland looking to earn their seventh win in 2023. The Falcons on the doorstep. Tricky play call. Looks like a run left, but they throw it back. But Brady Warner and Garrett Forgash read it perfectly and make the play. Freeland's defense won to match the Bobcats. Nowhere to go as Brody Geth comes in and gets the big time sack. The Falcons offense would get going. They're going to give it to Ty Fournier. He makes a quick cut up the field right there. And then see you later. That's a touchdown as Freeland takes down John Glenn 45 to 12. 
Sticking with the TVC, Swan Valley on the road at tonight at Burst Run. Fourth quarter, Panthers up 10 to 7. Colton Klein takes it himself into the end zone. And just like that, the Vikings take the lead 14 to 10 in the final quarter. Big play for Burst Run. Fourth and long. David Lopez nearly fumbled the snap, but he goes to the outside, has blockers, converts the huge first down, keeping the drive alive for the Panthers. It's fourth and one now for Burst Run. Can they convert another one? Lopez trying to sneak it. Did he get it? The chain gang is going to have to come out to check. As fingers are crossed, no, they are short. And the Vikings hold on as they take over to win 14-10.